Good morning. What am I doing in pajamas? It's sunrise, rise and shine. This is your beloved blogger with a little bit new format today. And I hope you enjoy it. Well, what does this letter to the editor that I wrote back on uh, Monday, April 5th, 1965, to my local newspaper have to do with today's blog. Well, this was a letter to the editor stating that I'd been in a basketball tournament or something, lost my basketball as a nine-year-old, and would somebody please return it if they had stolen it or accidentally picked it up. The letter was so powerful that the editor actually published it and made a note at the end Normally, we do not accept this type of letter for publication, but because of the, re of the tender age of the boy and his sincere plea, we are publishing this one. So I guess I was an effective writer as a nine-year-old. Not so much in basketball, <laughs> but I was an effective writer. The letter was so effective that a man from a local delicatessen called into the Courier News, the newspaper, and said, I want to buy that boy a new basketball. So I got a new basketball, I'll never forget it. Now, what does this have to do with today's blog? This is a replica of Shea Stadium in Flushing, New York. When I was a boy, sports was my world. Tom Seaver was the New York Mets baseball star and he was my idol. He would get his knee uh, dirty when he followed through on his pitch. And I had it down so much. In my imaginations, I was going to be the next Tom Seaver. No one dared tell me that I was slight of build, didn't have the muscle to really throw that uh, 90 mile an hour fastball. And I certainly didn't have the discipline. And I definitely didn't have a mentor to even get past freshman baseball where I got cut. When sports didn't work at finding myself as a teenager, I tried politics and discovered I was very good at it, never lost an election. Um, but throughout that, I discovered that there were more aggressive people, cutthroats, and I just didn't want to spar with them. Well, the next thing I tried was radio, and I did very well, and the audience loved me, and I loved them. But that wasn't meant to be either. So I had always loved senior citizens, and before long, the good Lord brought me into a um, time where I was serving seniors in social services that eventually led to uh, a, a career in hearing health. So I've been doing hearing aids and hearing health for over 30 years. I don't even have a picture of the New York Mets in my exam room, but never in a million years as a little boy growing up uh, wanting to be a sports star did I ever think I'd spend most of my life in an exam room. Well, uh, some seemingly have their careers and future picked out as they come out of the womb. For those of us that are not that lucky, hey, you gotta, you know, there's a pain in the path to say the least. Unfulfilled desires do hurt. On the other hand, broken dreams wake us up. And the challenge for us is um, uh, there can be a lot of meaning in reality. Uh, today's portal to heaven, God dreams alongside of us. Uh, the challenge is for us to dream alongside of him. And today's uh, scripture, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. And that's from Proverbs 16, 9. This is the beloved blogger signing off until tomorrow when we will again say, rise and shine.